Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll record the flight. Yeah. Okay. That's alright, that's alright, we'll record the flight. Alright, used to cuff coupling of the seats, so left hand ring up there. No, you've never, never, never done a sack that before, have you? Uh, okay. So these are our flight plan, if you've seen one of these before. Yep. Uh, take off out of um, Christchurch here, actually out during the runway. We're going to take off, these are all our waypoints drawn in to the system. Yep. So I've entered the, the, the flight plan into the system there. It's all the flight plan in there. We're going to take off out of zero 02, go to Newbuck. Yep. We're going to do a U turn and follow that all the way through there, okay? Okay. All right. And we're going to go to Queenstown. So, roughly about an hour flight, you can do everything. Engines are off at the moment. Mm -hmm. So, just start the engines shortly. Yeah, flying away. So, I'm going to put your headsets on. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Alright. Okay, Lorenzo, welcome to Flight Experience Sydney again. Thank you. We're in the copy of the 737 at uh, Christchurch in uh, New Zealand here on the on holding point on way 02. We're going to taxi out and we're going to fly over to um, Queenstown, do a landing, yep. and go forward from there. So, what we're going to do is start the engines of the aircraft now. Uh, what you can do is uh, over here, turn the recycling fans off for me. Yep, that one there off as well. The packs are off for me. Pull it out and up. Same as that one, pull it out and up. That one can be open, the isolation valve open. APG bleed on. Yep, that's it. So, what you do now is push this one in into the ground mode, push it in and turn to the left. Now we start the start over one, 20% on N1. Over now, you get 20%, you pull that lever out and up in there, start position for me, okay? Come up, fuel will come through shortly. There we go. So, now we've got air pressure around the uh, turbine. Two turbines, I think it's a 20%. You can do that. And after that, you can start uh, engine two. That's it. So, as the fuel gets into the engine, the exhaust gas engine starts rising. Then, one turbine starts rotating. There we go. Engine one's all stabilized. That's it. Let's come to engines right. That's it. Twenty percent. Okay, and it's stabilized. So what you do is turn the APU off now. So you can turn it below to tweet it, pull it out and down. That's it, same as that one. So now the engine's running out APU. Turn it off, I'm pulling it off. Pull it backwards. Okay, it starts with just do continuous for me now. Just turn to a continuous, so that's it. Now we continuous. Now over here, so first recycling your fans back onto auto. Uh, auto, yep, pull it out, a bit down, in the center position. Isolation valve over auto, and you yeah, have the bleed air off there. All right, so that's all set for you now. So turn the strobe lights on for me, pulling them up. Pass the fast seatbelt sign on. Okay, taxi line come on. Two runway lights will come on. And landing lights, you turn those on as well. It's full landing lights on. That's it. So we're all set up, ready to go. All right, Captain. So release the park brake now. That's it. And taxi out to the runway and turn to the right. Line up the runway first. Nice and smooth. Not too much problem. The frames aren't rolling forward really fast now. That's it. Just use your feet to steer. Turn to the right. All the way back to Ireland. Use your feet to keep it straight. Okay, okay. All right, just pause it there before you take off. So our takeoff position is we're going to take off, climb up to here, and we're going to do a U turn and head back towards that way, okay? Initial climb up to is 4,000. Once we reach 4,000, we're going to go up to about 18,000, okay? So get your dial up that bug as we go along. We've got the flight directors on today, okay? So we're going to follow that pink cross, okay, as we fly along. 
all right. So there you go. Yeah. Okay, so just move the funnels forward about four centimetres. That's it. Get about 40% power. And you're ready to press the end one button now. Now get down the trust up. So release those. Just use your fitness steer down and Now about from one to two centimetres either side of the fit fitness steer. Knots, both hands on the controls. Okay, 135 on V1 speed, just start to do back now. Black is about 15. Feet flat on the floor, turn to the right, get the wings. That's it, push it down, perfect. Just follow the big cross and push down, 15 degrees. Aussie rate, right gear up for me. Right, and now try and center the big cross, that's it. Turn to whichever direction you need to turn it to the centre of the cross. Turn it 10 degrees now, that's it. That's it. Just keep that cross centred. Surely we can do a turn, surely. Okay. That's a wrap and off. Done the return, not too bad, eh? All good. Alright, so hit the, the VNAV button there for me now and press the auto pilot on if you want, that's it. And dial that one up to uh, 18,000 feet. First waypoint is booked up, 29 over miles away. Right. Okay, take the seatbelt time off and back on for me so that we can just run around there. So that's it. 6,000 feet. Okay. Okay, cut off the, the, the uh, landing lights for me now. The lights are on there. The lights have come off. Taxi light off, uh, that's it, well done. Uh, okay, I want to read out the checklist for me now, Captain. Uh, after takeoff, just read the left hand side, I'll read the right hand side for you. Engine bleeds, uh, off, packs, uh, auto, landing gear, up and off, flaps, zero, and no green lights. Just leave a checklist complete. Yep, checklist complete after takeoff. All right, now as we're going to climb out, we're going to climb up to, to, to Gupta now, 45 nautical miles away. And go from there. How many times have you been here now, Lorenzo? Uh, twice. Yeah. You've done circuits before? Yeah. So you wanted something different, eh? Yeah. You fly home soon at home? Yeah. Yeah, what do you fly at home? Uh, flight simulator X. Yeah. Where you work on plane you fly there? Uh, 737s, A320s, yeah. Dash A. Lovely. Yeah. Alright, so we're climbing up to 10,000 feet now. We're going to go into Q&H there. Just push that button into 1013. That's it. So now we've got the 1013 there, okay? So we'll go Q&H. So the thing we've on off back on for me now. So we've got the cabin group running around and serve drinks in the back. Yeah. Alright, so we're just climbing through our parachute now. And uh, check towards our waypoint of Gupta. Shut the fuel off in our main tanks and we're running for our big tanks now. Okay, we've got 488 kilograms of balancing in the front. Doing okay, man. 
So we're going to stuff our ride we're going to do uh, Queenstown Shores. We've got 197 nautical miles to fly before we start to do our landing and that's what we mean. So what you can do is up our, our frequency down there. So I'll give you a frequency to set up down here. Okay, give me a sec. So it's on this page here. Frequency of uh, VOR DME 113.6, 13.6. And on the other switch layer, switch layer, on that frequency, we'll put down uh, another frequency there. Let's have a look. Uh, so that's about it. So you can see our, our, DM, our frequency there, 113.6, one, one, so it's down, down there. I'm going to flip that one up for me. That's our distance to, to, to our, 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 our fix for landing. It's 177 nautical miles away. So 15,400 feet. Once we reach 18,000 feet, the frost will come back. And then we can uh, start preparing for our landing. Any questions so far? No. All good? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the other part of the Here's our legs in our system, our system. Ulta, Big View, Caudi, Tarax, and Long that's our, our final destination approach. And then we haven't got our, 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 our what do you call it? Uh, after Long Go, we'll start preparing that descent into uh, uh, Queenstown. I'll show you the entry into details for our approach. So what kind of approach do you want to come in to, to do Queenstown? Um, is that ILS? Uh, no, there's no ILS. We do an RNAV approach. Okay. Which is one of these approaches in there. So we're going to run two, three. There you go. Come in, join through here, just come around like that. Okay. Have a look at it now if you want. Seen on those approaches before. So there's our frost coming back now. Just coming back and cruising here. Good there. Okay. Yeah. So, on that approach to runway two, three. So we're going to pick up this. Way out, down through there, we come in there, through past the valley. We need a little approach. Go down the departure approach page. Yep. Press arrival, R2, that's it. So arrival, uh, got one there, so I'm going to go to the next page, press next page. There we go, so there.
bit back a little bit there. Yeah, that's it. We haven't got our waypoints in. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to enter them in manually. So you want to enter the word attribute. A U R U F. R U F. Yeah, we'll stick it up there. Look at that again. Yeah, the runway's just here, we'll just kind of circle around, do a approach, and see how we go, how's that? Yeah. Happy about that approach, please? Yeah. So it's very similar to this one. Okay. So I think the name has changed, all, all the waypoints. Right. So we've come out through 9, about 10,000 feet, all the way down, stay our descent. There we have, there's a warp up there. Yep. We need that Q, Q, and O, yeah, 32 is going here. Follow all the way down through here, circle up there, come around there, okay, runway, it's pretty good, so uh, no, it's not too bad at all, actually. All right, I'll just a flight plan, so we'll set up our arrival and uh, go back to our, our map display now. Just, just watch it through, so scroll up about whatever you want. I've got 20, go to 40, so look ahead what we're doing. Need that distance to go. 18,000 feet. Have a look outside, what do you reckon? It's nice. Yeah. Oh. So 
So go to our de des page, descent page, bring our speed back to 180 knots, so type in the word 180, paste up for L2, so when it's speed the thrust will come back and reduce our thrust, okay, that's all set for you there. So we've got 98 miles to go before the top of the descent. Go back to the pro progress page, prop. so there you go, it's a distance to go. Any questions so far, Captain? No. Well, perhaps, yeah. All right, so not much more to do up here in the cruise. Just make sure the flight plan for arrival is all set, which we've already done. And which relates to the top of the descent, that's it. Just make sure the cabin is all done. That's how we go for time. The time list the circuits in Queenstown at the end if you want. Okay. Uh, it's going to work out pretty well. So when the crew's down, we're not doing much, right? So we can split up the time. It's aeroplane. Now press menu, menu. Menu again. Okay, press extras over on the R5. Yeah. Press times four. That's it. Now what it does is split up the clock by, clock by times four. See? Like moving along, so wasting the time on the cruise. We'll do it this set to do some landings at the end of the airport. Alright in the back, Andrew? Right. Yeah. Just wait for the mill service. Mill service, <laughs> where's the mills? There you go, it's front and away point, so the next waypoint will come very shortly. There you go. TD means top of the top of descent, okay? Yep. Alright. So what it is here down is down to 10,000 feet. Okay, I'm not doing it yet. Once it's top of top of uh, descent there, it dials down over to about uh, 12,000 feet, the nose will come down, the thrust will come back. So what type of landing you want to do at uh, Queenstown? So what type of landing you want to do? Full stop, touch and go. Uh, we'll do a full stop. Yeah, so set auto brake to three for me. And that's it. Uh, so when you land, you use reverse thrust to slow up the aeroplane. Yeah. That's alright. That's good. Distance to our readout, 20 to 24 miles out. 
Okay, you start to you start really clear. This end has a little bit about twelve thousand. Yeah, that's it. Always get to about seven miles. Keep up your slow right down. Drop the nose. Stay out the seat. Shot in 10 miles out, so we're going to follow the track all the way around. 
airport just a few miles to it. That's the one that you can't really see. So when we get to uh, 10,000, we're going to go back to Q&H again. So push a button in there, go to 009, and that's it. It's going to change it to 009. Yeah, so one, zero, zero, nine, then Q&H for arrival.
here we go. Say our turn now inbound. And we can take about 200 now. That's it. The speed's good. Flat fives. As you turn inbound, you start to be able to see the strip straight in, heading of 032. Down there, okay. Yep. So we're going to head out here, go yeah, around that mountain, and do, do, do a landing there, okay? Yep. Pretty good for time, we just reset on the ground, you'll do some more circuit around here, good. Yep. So we'll pretend to pipe out the hook, okay, heading towards Frank. Okay, so as we get down there, we're going to turn to the left. Scale now, so go back to our tent, turn to the left one, one notch, that's it. So there we go, as we come around there, we need the runway straight ahead of us down there. So the runway's just down there, it's below us now. I've been the strip that's in the 5,800, so we're going to track out towards here, QN 28, 25, we're going to swing back around, landing gear down about here, and start slowing down if we approach. So when we turn on final, we'll disconnect the autopilot and then we'll land the plane manually. Full stop landing, auto brakes at the street, um, and speed brake up for me now. That's it. We have a landing checklist for you. So we've uh, did set. Pretty cool. Up, checked. Water brakes. Three, did set. Landing gear on. Okay, so you put your in the ref and dial up 30 degrees of flap at uh, 141. So dial up the word 30, dial up the word 30, and you get out. Yep. Set it there. So 30, flat 30, 141 knots our approach speed. So that's it. Next one. Approach reefing. Okay, so we're come around the approach. Uh, get about here, this is another part, and you're going to land the plane manually. Full stop landing. Auto brake set to three. Speed brake arm. We'll land with reverse thrust. All good? Yep. Yeah. What's next? That's it. Check this completely. Oh, check this completely. Well done. So I've hit the strip now. It's like below us. Get the markers going off. There's no ILS here. So that's the sort of arm that approach. Here we go. So we're going to swing out wide, pass out there, and we're going to back around, pass out the mountain, third mountain, then we're going to land again. Alright. So we're going to the 4,600 down, so we get the height going down to 3,700 actually. 37. Yeah. Well done, you're good. So I hope you're blocking your height down, so put the landing gear down now. Start slowing the plane down a bit more. Okay, 
about 15. That's it. Brilliant. And uh, 3,300 now on the uh, outer chip indicator. That's it. Yeah. And the terrain that might not go with that. There you go. The colour there, so you can see what it's like. Red bit is high here on the outside. Now, down to two six up here now, two thousand six hundred. Let's check. So you always got to set the height for the next stage. It doesn't just stay there. You get too high for the approach. Eighteen hundred now. These are on AOV, look good, just raising those up, no no hurry. Pull the black dot up, get in the blue. These are on AOV down there, going down, that's it, lovely. The turn going around, hitting the. Uh, that's it, that's it. There we go, follow it, heading in, there you go, run my straight around, visual. Beautiful. Come on, a little touch and go, eh? It's got time. Yeah, yeah. touch and go. Press the uh, bit of that. Climbing up to uh, 5,000 on the departure. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Look outside, oh, it's all yours. Uh, throttles in, disengage, manual thrust. Draw done, touch and go landing. We're going to take off thumbs from right heading with uh, vectors to follow around. Power off, yeah, that's it. 30, 20, 10. Okay, take off again then. Perfect. Back to the notch, that's it. 135, pull back. And V1, rotate. Fifteen degrees, perfect. Landing gear up, positive rate. Not bad, Andy. Well done. Thank you. How was that sector? Pretty good sector, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Coming right in, worked out quite well. Push down 10 degrees. Plus one, 180 knots. That's it. Right. 
reverse the speed for me now, but uh, yeah, 220 is fine. Roll the nose now, and that's it, push forward the nose, push it forward. So around you go, steep turn about uh, 30 degrees and maintain 5,000 heading to 120. Just raise that nose up just there. That's it, no more. That's it, perfect. Been to Queenstown before? Mm -hmm. Been here for holiday? Uh, no, no. A bit more bank angle. That's it. Turn the bank angle around. Trip is just a bit below us down there. Head towards our heading out that way and come around the mountain for another punch and get a hand there. Bit more of a left for me, uh, heading 020. I'm to crank myself up with the turn. Heights good. Through that mountain down there, we come around the side for another punch and go. We can't come around pretty fast, so we can fit another landing in for you. How's that? So we can speed back about 160 knots now. This is now 3,500, so I'm going to trim up. Yeah. Drop the nose, start to descend off the flap, and flap the five. Now it's into the gear down as well, so I'm going to do not too hurry, just hang the black dog where it is. I'm going to go around this mountain here, and then come around for landing a bit. If you're going straight, I'll give you head headings to follow. The Flat 15, speed start, check. 150 knots. Start to turn around to the right for a minute. Give it a little breakfast to follow. That's it, follow it, you've got a line. Not too hard, about 20 degree angle back, that's fine. Raise that nose up now, slow the line down, that's it. Like on the horizon is good. Like a bit more, we'll trim it. That's good. Get that turn nice and around before banking for now. Have a touch and go landing. Come on, just stop it here. Turn, turn, turn to the right. That's it. Go around, watch the speed, push the nose down all the way down there. Too high, push the nose down, that's it. That's it, speed to 
There we go, and how many down there? Yep, good. Keep that nose going down now. That's it. Turn the right hand line the wrong way. Touch and go. I'm at five thousand. Forward now. 
set for the practice three for me. If you have stop landing, I'm a sweet break. That's it. The race is triple down there. We're gonna hit it towards that mountain now with Mount Yanni coming around. So you can start reducing the kick down and the speed at the moment. We have about 160 knots.
turn to the left there, that's it. Here we go, all done. Terminal now, and we'll shut the engine down. Well done, Captain. How are you feeling? You're good. Yeah, it's been fun, eh? Yeah. Alright, bring the speed back, turn to the left, and then to the right. Run the terminal there. Turn to the right now, that's it. The man comes out, the brakes at the top of the, aero, uh, the pedals. That's it. That's fine. Power it off now, that's it. Use your feet to stop the brakes at the top, that's it, that's it. Right, brake back on, off goes the full landing lights, runway lights off as well, yep, taxi light off, okay, I'll start the APU, I've done that, okay, so pull it out and forward, the middle one, hit, yep, one, number two there, one at a time, pull the engine one out, yep, and number two now, engine's out, that's it, there you go, well done now, seatbelt sign off, Yep, smoking sign off. Fuel pump's off now, so that fuel pump one can come off. No, that's two, one. Leave that one on for APU, that one reach two over here, one time. Yep, up here, window hits off. Two on my side. Yep, probe heats off. Two inner hydraulic pumps pull it out and up. Yep, uh, that one there. Yep, okay, that's it. Uh, leave it done. How it is, and pull it on. I just want to go open. Hope you bleed on. And that's about it. Well done. How are you feeling, Captain? Yeah, good. You did a very good job. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. Well done. Well done. Where you go? How are you feeling? Yeah, good. What do you think of the sector? Yeah, it was uh, fun. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you like that sector? Yeah. All right. Did all right this time? Yeah, right. yeah, something different, you know. <laughs> we did it from Christchurch to um, uh, Queenstown, and then a couple of circuits in the end, so we had a bit of spare time. Yeah, it was good. Just good sector yeah. to do. Good yeah. sector. It's short. Short, short circuits are good because you got to work the computers instead yeah. of standing there on the approach. Yeah. So Canberra City is another good one. Yeah. Take off from Canberra, go to Sydney, and then we do some take off there yeah. Sydney. So, so yeah, next time you come in, do some more sectors. Yeah. Canberra City is a good one, it's really yeah. fast, only about 25 30 minutes. Yeah. So and then you can do some take off landing around Sydney, yeah, yeah. get value out of it. No, you did very well, you did most of the things yourself. You said we had a bit of trouble programming, but we've got yeah. that route. So just, just money use, using yeah. more, pushing the buttons in here, yeah. really, really good. All right, well done. All right, excellent. Yeah. All right, that's no worries. Any questions? Not for me. No. No. <laughs> <laughs>